And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Another absolutely gorgeous day today. Plenty of sunshine temperatures nearly 20 degrees above average this time of the year. We had a high temperature today, 81 degrees. Our average high temperature is 64 in Lafayette. And some portions of the region saw temperatures reach those mid to even upper 80s earlier on. We're at 80 degrees right now in Lafayette. Winds a bit breezy from the west, 10 miles per hour. We've seen primarily southerly winds throughout the day. The southerly winds paired with all that sunshine. You get those 80 degree temperatures that we've seen. Now temperatures are beginning to cool off just a tad, but I use cool as a relative term, considering it is still 86 degree, degrees in Covington, 82 in Delphi. We're at 82 degrees in Kokomo as well at this hour. You see a few of those light cirrus clouds rolling in over the region these last couple of hours. The low levels of our atmosphere, very dry, only about 26% humidity. Higher up, however, that's where we're beginning to see some of that humidity on the rise. And as a result, more of that light cloud cover. Nothing we can't take, however. And the reason we're seeing that humidity in the upper levels begin to tick up a few percentage points. Points. Higher pressure off to the southeast of us over parts of Tennessee and North Carolina finally begin to loosen its grip on Greater Lafayette, eventually allowing for chances of rainfall and more of that cloud cover to move back into the region. We take the high pressure, we turn our attention to a round of low pressure off to our northeast. It's uh, dragging a cold front southward across the Great Lakes. Another round of low pressure, this one across the Great Plains, centralized near the Dakotas, bringing a cold front further off to the east. And those will actually converge, bringing the chances of rainfall back to the region as early as tomorrow afternoon or evening. For tonight, however, we do stay dry. If you like clouds, not out of the question. You see the weak cold front sinking southward and moving into the region early tomorrow morning. Rain chances to the west thanks to a round of low pressure over parts of Iowa by early tomorrow morning. So, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end eventually. Rain chances return to your forecast, and we see those temperatures begin to gradually cool down throughout the remainder of your forecast. Jeffrey Felty sending in a gorgeous backdrop for our snapshot forecast this evening. Clearly not Indiana. This is Pikes Peak in Colorado. Temperatures 79 degrees by 7 p.m. Remaining relatively stable at that hour. Falling off to around 63 at midnight. We'll bottom out at 55 overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. As far as tomorrow goes, the weak frontal boundary stalls out and sinks a little bit further off to the south across the region. That shouldn't bring much more than some cloud cover to the viewing area. However, the low pressure system and making its way a little bit further off to the southeast. Wouldn't be surprised to see rain chances pop up as early as about 3 or 4 p.m. Couple isolated showers are a possibility throughout the day tomorrow. All in all, we are looking at temperatures still well above average. 76 degrees, your high temperature in West Lafayette tomorrow afternoon. We cool off, but back down to 70 on Wednesday. Still above average, falling to 68 degrees on Thursday. Scattered rain showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. Now by Friday, we do dry out. Plenty of sunshine that day, only a high temperature of 58 degrees. We do bounce back up to around 68 on Saturday. Plenty of sunshine that afternoon as well. Nice to get some rainfall and then we clear out for the weekend. Yeah, very definitely. Nice. Uh, Friday, Saturday looking very nice. Couple more isolated showers possibility on Sunday. Okay, Kim. Thanks. Yeah.